Okay, my first graders, we're gonna practice our doubles facts again. So remember, if we know our doubles facts, it makes it a little bit easier when we're doing our problems based on doubles and doubles plus one. All right, so I'm gonna use our flashcards again. Remember, you're gonna read it across, okay? Maybe you can read along with me. And then the more we say it, hopefully we'll start knowing the answer to our, question, our, our doubles facts. You ready? One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Four plus four is eight. Five plus five is 10. Six plus six is 12. Seven plus seven is 14. Eight plus eight is 16. Nine plus nine is 18. 10 plus 10 is 20. All right, that's our doubles facts. So again, you can make your own flashcards and practice them with a grown up at home. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we know our doubles facts. You can go back if you need to in your book when we had the doubles to help you write out what each one equals. The more we see it, the more we write it, the more we say it, the better we'll remember. All right, let's go into our lesson today. Okay, my first graders, we're gonna work on lesson 3.4. Remember, we only did half of it yesterday. So you wanna to turn to page 151. So if you're not there, take a, take a minute, find that page for me. Okay, we're gonna look at our math on the spot. Okay, so today we're doing some word problems and a little bit more practice with our doubles plus one. So there's also a video of this if you would like to see it. It says Mandy has the same number of red and yellow leaves. Then she finds one more yellow leaf. There are 17 leaves in all. How many leaves are red and how many leaves are yellow? All right, my first graders. So when it says that they have the same number of red and yellow, that's a doubles fact, okay? It means one is the same as the other. Okay, so four and four, five and five. But when they're done, after they make a doubles fact, she finds one more yellow leaf. So there's 17 leaves in all. So what we wanna do is we first wanna start making a double that is close to 17. So let's think through. Well, let's start with, how about we start with five plus five? Well, what's five plus five? Five plus five is 10. So we don't have enough yet, but that gives us a starting point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out five yellow and I'm gonna take out five red. So right now, and I'll put these together, we have the same red and yellow because they told us that they start with the same red and the same yellow. Here's my one cube chain. So remember, they're the same. So my this when I'm done, it'll be the same size because it's the same amount. So we have five and five. So five and five is 10. It's close, but we can get a little closer. What if we do add two more to it? So instead of five and five, now we have six and six. So let's think about our doubles fact that is six Six plus six. Six plus six is 12. We're close, but we're not there yet. So now let's add another red and yellow. So we had six plus six. Now we have seven plus seven. So seven plus seven is 14. So we're close to 17, but we're not there yet. So we're gonna add another yellow and another red. So we keep with our doubles, right? So now instead of seven plus seven, we have eight plus eight. So eight plus eight is 16. Hey, we are really close to 17. 
right? 16. Hey, if we have 16 and we get one more, that would make 16 plus one more is, let's try it, put 16 in our head, 16, 17. So wait a minute, we need one more. Do you remember she found one more what? One more yellow leaf. So I'm going to add my one more yellow leaf. So now we have our picture. We had the same red and yellow, and then she finds one more yellow. So how many leaves are red and how many are yellow? Well, look at our double spec. We said we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red. And then we had eight yellow plus one more. So eight plus one more is nine. Okay. So I know that this is tricky because we're not quite there yet, but I hope that you understood. We made a doubles fact and then we added one more. So here's where we knowing our doubles facts helps us because if we knew, know our doubles facts, it helps us to know uh, when we're close to a number. Okay, like eight and eight is 16 plus one more gave us 17. All right, it says explain. Uh, would, would you use count on or doubles to solve? Why? Okay, so boys and girls, uh, we are gonna skip this because at this point, remember what I had said, you use the strategy that works for you. Okay, whether it's counting on, whether it's drawing our picture, I want you to use strategies that work for you. Three plus four, they're very close together. So this one, we could use a double to solve if we wanted to, okay? So three plus four, we could turn our three, here's, let me show you what that looks like, right? Three plus four, it's very close. So we could use a doubles fact. We could turn it into three, three plus three plus one more if we wanted to, okay? But we still can use our count on strategy. Remember, use whatever strategy works best for you. But this one could be a doubles. Now let's look at this, three plus nine. Now, let's just look at these cubes. All right, three plus nine. Hmm, are these close together? No, this one's huge, right? And this one's small. They're way too far apart. So for three plus nine, can we use a doubles fact or no? No, we can't. It's too much. It's, it's, not, it's not close together. Remember when we did three plus four, it was close and we only needed to take, we only needed to move one cube off. When they are very far apart from each other, we can't even use the double strategy. So we would just do our count one or we'd use this picture to help us. Okay. We don't need to write anything. I just wanted to model that so that you could see. All right, on this page, it says use what you know about doubles to complete the key. Write the missing sums. So here's our key. And then we see circles that are yellow, blue, and red. So what they want us to do is use what we know about doubles to figure out, well, what number does yellow stand for? What number does blue stand for? What number does red stand for? So let's look at this. If yellow, remember yellow would be the same number. So this right here, yellow plus yellow. This is a doubles fact because this number and this number are exactly the same. So what doubles fact equals four? One plus one is two. So that doesn't work. Two plus two is four. Hey, that works, doesn't it? Two plus two is four. So the yellow each yellow would be a two. So you can write two in the middle, just to remind you, two plus two is four. Here's my two plus two. Two plus two is four. Now that we wrote two here, we're gonna put a two over here because 
this is our key, kind of like a map key, right? So anytime we see a yellow circle, it stands for the number two. So any yellow circles, we can put a two in the middle. So now let's look at this one. Hey, could we put a two in the middle of that one? Yes, we can. But we don't have enough information to solve this one yet. We don't know what blue equals yet, so we can't solve it and we don't have an answer here, so that's not gonna help us. So let's look at this one and see if we can solve it. Hey, a blue and a blue. That tells us if these are the same numbers, that's a doubles fact. What doubles fact equals six? Well, let's go back through. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus three is six. So we know that blue has to equal three. So we put our threes on the blue. Three plus three is six. So here, every time we see a blue, it's the number three. So let's put a three here. And now we can go and look. Here's a blue here. Can we put a number three? Yes, we can, because blue means three. There's one down here. We can put a three. Hey, can we solve this now? Yes, we can. Three plus two or two plus three. I'm going to put three in my head because that's my bigger number. I'll put two on my fingers. So we have three, but three, four, five. So three plus two is five. Now, what they would like you to see as well is this is a doubles plus one. We had a doubles problem, but then we made the, instead of it being two, we made it one more, which is three. So we can do two plus two plus one more. Two plus two is four plus one more is five. So either strategy works. Okay, now we're down here with the red. Well, we can't solve this one yet because we don't know what red equals. So let's look at this. Oh, this plus this, it's a double, same one. What doubles fact equals eight? Well, let's think about it. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Four plus four is eight. Four plus four is eight. So this is four plus four. So anytime we see red, we know it equals four. You can write your four in the middle. Then we'll go over here, right? Anytime we see red, we know it's a four. So we have one more red right here. We can write our number four. Okay. So we have three plus four or four plus three. I'm going to put the big number in my head because I do like the count on strategy. Four in my head, three on my fingers. Actually, I like to do three like this. So I'm going to put four in my head. Ready? Four, five, six, seven. So three plus four is seven. They want us to see too that this could also be a doubles problem, right? We have three plus three. And then the three stayed the same, but four got from three to four. We had one more. So instead of six, it becomes seven because three plus three is six plus one more is seven. All right, our last one. There are seven red cubes. There are eight yellow cubes. How many cubes are there in all? Use a double to add, write the missing number. So. They're showing us here's seven plus eight. What doubles, doubles plus one fact? Do you remember what we do? We chop off the one, right? We took it close, okay? Draw our line to make our doubles. And we would move this one down here, right? So now we have a doubles fact. What doubles fact do we see? This one, if it was seven plus eight, now it's, Seven plus seven plus one more. Seven plus seven plus one more. So I'm going to write that in. Seven plus 
seven, and then, oh, they already gave us the plus one. All right. So what does seven plus eight equal? Well, think about it this way. Seven plus seven is 14 plus one more. 14 plus one more is 15. Now, boys and girls, just like I always tell you, if we're not very good with our doubles and our doubles plus one yet, another way to make sure our answer is right or to get our answer, right? We can do our count on strategy, put eight in our head, seven on our finger, right? And, and say, or we can count our cubes. Can we just count our cubes to see if it equals 15? Yes, we can. So if you're struggling with doubles plus one, right? That doubles plus one or just doubles, we can always use our other strategies to make sure that we get the right answer. All right, boys and girls, we're going to work on our personal math trainer.